Hello and welcome everyone, and forth here recording a Let's Talk video for October 2018. If you're unfamiliar with my Let's Talk series, it's basically when I just sit down for 10-15 minutes or so, talk about what I've been making public to the channel if you've been keeping up, also what I've been recording for the channel, and what I may be making public, or what I may be releasing in the near future, and also kind of ramble, talk about prospects as we go into the back end of the year and go into 2019. And I have also something to mention at the very beginning of this uh, video, but if you're not interested in any of that, obviously feel free to go back to enjoying the rest of your day. Um, if you are interested, feel free to stick around, feel free to pause the video, make yourself a drink, get yourself comfortable, and obviously we'll get straight into it. So. The first big bit of news, and this is more of a thank you, a sincere thank you to all of you, is that I just reached a milestone on the channel. I just reached 1,000 subscribers, and over the past week or so, we've even went beyond that. But no, really, I have been here on YouTube recording content for you all for five years, well, over five years now. And my channel hasn't grown as fast as others, but at the same time, I've always mentioned that I don't really mind that too much. I'm here as a hobby, I'm here to enjoy myself, and I'm here to hopefully find like-minded individuals, find people who enjoy the content I'm creating, and if the channel grows through mostly word of mouth rather than my own advertising it, then that's amazing, that's excellent, and I'm very happy for that to happen. And I've always had in my head that at certain milestones I would record something, not just a Let's Talk video like this, I'd record maybe a game series and release it as a thank you. And I release series anyway, but no, this would be like a thank you very much, a 1000 sub milestone um, series. And I have a few in mind, and I will get round to recording that game series in the very near future, probably through October and November. And of course, I will mention it at the beginning of that series. But, talking about what I've been releasing and making public to you all mostly of late, you'll notice that I've kind of trailed off from Final Fantasy XIV. That's because we got to the major, uh, like the main scenario story missions for the Stormblood expansion and it is uh, patch story content up to patch 4.4 I believe right now and I'm waiting until I guess patch 4.5 because there's always been I think five major story patches prior to going into the next expansion so I kind of want to play them all together so I'm being a bit patient and I haven't been playing the game all that much, to be perfectly honest. I've been playing a lot of uh, Dead by Daylight, as you can probably tell from the uh, video I'm using in the background here. And I've started playing uh, and streaming Dragon Age Origins, a game I last recorded for the channel back in 2014, I believe it was. But that's a game I finally decided to return to. And I'm hoping to continue that yeah. both for YouTube, for the channel here, and for yeah. the, for anyone who wishes to uh, pop by on Twitch. I will uh, pop my um, Twitch link down below in case anyone is interested. You're welcome to pop your head in at any time. I'm rather random in my times. I don't have a, a set schedule. And that's mainly because it depends on um, my, mo my mood, my motivation. But sometimes I'll just fancy doing an hour here, an hour there of Dead by Daylight. Or I'll probably sit down for maybe four or five hours and get stuck into something like Final Fantasy XIV or maybe Dragon Age Origins now. But either way, also, I'm looking or definitely considering doing the original StarCraft and StarCraft II titles once again. And I'm also looking at doing the Diablo games. I'd have to find a copy of the original Diablo 1. 
as it's not on the Blizzard store. But I am tempted to um, replay and pick up Diablo 2. And I do have Diablo 3, and I've been meaning to do a Let's Play of that for years. Maybe again, four or five years. It's been sitting on my... Uh, what do they call it? On their battle net. There you go. I'd actually have to look that up. Yeah, it's been sitting on battle net. And I think I played maybe half an hour and I never got too far in it. But I'd be interested in maybe doing the game from start to scratch for doing the series from start to scratch. If I couldn't do Diablo 1, it wouldn't be terrible. To be honest, I have never played Diablo 1. But I could always maybe link you to a fellow content creator on YouTube who's recently uh, been playing the game. Actually, I could link you to a couple of YouTube content creators who have been playing the game. So there's always that if needs be. In addition, I, as I said, earlier this year I did ask for people to give suggestions to which clan I should maybe play in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. That is a game I will be open and honest with you, I did start recording. I got maybe three or four hours into the game and then I started doing other things. And it's a game I would love to do as a more interact an interactive experience and stream it for you all. But typically, um, the, when streaming it, there's some um, say graphical glitches. The game's rather choppy, and I'm not sure why that is. So it is a game I will have to record for the channel. Uh, rather than stream it. But, I say I have um, had feedback from you all. I do know what clan I will be playing. So that is something to hopefully look forward to in the future. Ah, I'm trying to think of what else I need to mention. Very little, to be honest. I do have an ever-growing list of games I do need to uh, play, including um, Divinity, Original Sin, and Original Sin 2. And of course, Final Fantasy XV is still sitting there waiting to be played. I did play, what, three, four hours of that game, and then I stopped. Apologies. I have thought about getting a new uh, desktop PC. <laughs> So that um, I have a better, um, I can play it at a higher performance, which is what's kind of making me wait to maybe play that game properly. Either way, though, we're winding down in this video, doing rather well as Leatherface. We are in the low ranks, of course, so I don't normally encounter too much um, of a challenge compared to how I play as a survivor. Currently, I'm a rank four survivor, which is fairly challenging for me. I've only got about 100 hours into the game. But, uh, yeah. No. Thank you all. Uh, sincerely as well for all of my subscribers. And anyone, again, who may just watch this video. Subscriber or no. But, um, yeah. No, feel free to comment below. If there's any games in particular you might like to see me play. I can never guarantee that I'll actually play them. The, the game may just not be of my interest. But, long game, short game. <laughs> It's unfortunate for the Meg there, but no, um, since I'm doing a lot more streaming now and enjoying myself in doing so, if there's a game you'd like to see me stream briefly, then well, I'll see what I can do. As I say, no promises, but yeah, we'll see how we go to the back end of 2018 and see where we go going into 2019 in a few months' time. Anyhow, once again, sincerely, thank you all. And hopefully I'll see you for see more videos into the future. Until then, no. Bye-bye now.